Colorado, thanks so much for joining us on this Tuesday morning. 641 right now, seeing some hints of dawn's early light right now. This is a view from our Peak Internet Neighborhood Weather Network camera from Gold Hill. We're looking over the city above the clouds, and we only have a few clouds out there mixed in with sunshine. Today, you can expect increasing clouds this afternoon and just a few blustery areas, especially near and along the Colorado Kansas state line. And I think that wind and some clouds might make afternoon temperatures feel slightly cooler. You know the drill, just keep the light jacket with you. Live HD Doppler radar over the last couple of hours indicating some snow showers for areas along and west of the Continental Divide. For Los Animas, Baca and Prowers County, we've also seen hints of light flurries, but that is dissipated and tracked off to the east. Near and surrounding Grand Junction, we continue to see some snow. We'll continue to get that snow off to the high country throughout the day today. Currently, temperatures stay in the low 20s. I'd make sure to load on the layers if you're stepping into work this morning. By 3, temperatures crest to the upper 40s, low 50s dropping to the 30s and 40s by 6. High temperatures expected to primarily fluctuate in the 40s and 50s, 20s through the 40s in store for the mountains and the mountain valleys. Temperatures stay nice and mild tomorrow, but it's on Thursday when we start to see change. We have increasing clouds, more wind, and the possibility for snow. Travel impacts possible Thursday, Friday, with spotty snow showers Saturday, Sunday. You see that cooling trend in Pueblo, too. We stay in the low 50s today, tomorrow, with the 30s and 40s Thursday and Friday. Forecast models are entirely agreeing as to how much snow we could see by the end of the work week, but bottom line, it could impact your commuting. So, again, stick with the networks of KRDO. 52 today for Canyon City, low 50s tomorrow, upper 30s, low 40s Thursday and Friday cooler temperatures this weekend. We stay pleasant the next few days in Teller County and drop temperatures by the weekend too, with highs Saturday, Sunday only reaching the low 20s. Uh, not very impressive at all. Keep in mind that for today in Teller County, we can't rule out a few snowflakes later on tonight, but we will primarily stay dry. I wanted to emphasize that. Okay, we will be breaking down those neighborhood to neighborhood high temperatures in the next 10 minutes. All right, uh, keep the snow shovels handy. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. Thanks, Abby. Mm -hmm. 644 now. A Colorado Springs City Councilwoman is facing